The billboard at Minnesota Public Radio's headquarters early Monday morning lit downtown St. Paul with the news. While fans illuminated their energy at Minneapolis St. Paul International Airport, waiting to greet the Minnesota Lynx, who returned from Phoenix as Western Conference champions. My daughter, uh, one of the players invited my daughter on the court for a victory dance. And uh, so we're going to the big dance. So <laughs> that's Bethany. Anyway, it made her a year. We stood there looking at each other saying, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I was also full of a little bit of stress because now, I mean, my marketing plans are going out the window for Tuesday and I'm coming up with new ones for next Sunday. So we're going to be crazy at work and we're going to love every minute of it. It took us until we get home to go, oh my God, we won, you know. And we finally, we saw the video of the girls with the, um, with the trophy going low slinks, low slinks. The Lynx organization, we put in so much work every day for these girls and for this team and for the fans and it means so much to us that they're going to the WNBA finals and we couldn't be more excited or more proud of them. In terms of media coverage, we're getting there. It's going to take some time because we compete with the tail end of the Twins and the beginning of the Vikings in the wild, but I think the media outlets in this area are finally taking notice of the Lynx and they're really excited for us too. We got into it because my husband Fred started coaching girls when Title IX first came out. And we have two daughters, so we have wonderful role models there in the links. There's a lot more um, of a male um, presence at our games, which is awesome because they're taking note that this isn't just women's basketball, it's basketball. And it's great basketball, and these women can flat out play. I have two daughters and the younger one had a lot of self-esteem issues and I remember her saying to me one night, she said, mom is so cool, she said, they're women and everybody's cheering for them. They look at Simone's crossovers, Maya's threes, they look at the rebounding power of Rebecca Brunson and even Taj, the 40 year old team, uh, player we have on our team that's on the floor diving for those loose balls. Um, DJ Way, she's a great point guard. You know, they're, they're looking at them like, these aren't just women playing basketball, these are basketball players, and they are awesome, and we respect them, and we don't care if they come into games with a negative attitude, because we know they're gonna leave with a positive outlook. All of a sudden people are starting to say, oh, we really do have a good team. Um, and I think people in the Twin Cities are finally glad to have something to cheer for. Everybody's really excited. It doesn't matter if you've been here since day one or if you've been here since last week. It's a total team effort and we're really all, this, all in this together and we're really excited.
As fans, players, and staff await Game 1 of the WNBA Finals next Sunday, everyone involved will shine lessons they will learn as the Lynx take the WNBA spotlight. I'm going to utilize everything I've learned this entire season. I'm definitely piggybacking, piggybacking off of some of the Wolves marketing initiatives. They've been a great help to me, the Timberwolves marketing team. So um, I'm taking in everything that I've done this year and just pulling it forward to the, for the finals. It makes people realize that no matter how much of an underdog you are, no matter how, I don't want to say underappreciated, but how relatively obscure you are, you can actually win. Mike Peden, DSB Sports.